morning. Welcome to Luke's Lock. This is the first day of my journey. Today we're going to the airport. I wanted to vlog this while I was back at home, but it was way too dark, so I hope you can see me right here. And yeah, I'm just catching the train. So excited for, to, for today's trip, or what I'm doing, where I'm going, and uh... Go. So my flight is going to Singapore and from there on out I'll be flying to Bali. So taking a trip to Southeast Asia. Now I've been planning this trip for quite some time now. I've been building up my business basically to allow me to really live anywhere, work from anywhere, and all I need is internet. So um, kind of lost. So a while ago I came across this term called digital nomad and a digital nomad is like a person who just lives out of the internet and does the business anywhere in the world and Bali is actually a hot spot uh, also Chiang Mai is one of the bigger ones as well yeah I decided to go there see what life is like as a digital nomad because cost of living is so cheap there I can probably live at 500 bucks a month that's where I'm going Right, so first obstacle <laughs> overcome. Um, I was at the check-in desk and I couldn't get in because I had to show uh, a flight somewhere else leaving the country. I didn't know that. I didn't. Re I don't really have plans for this travel. Day, so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna book a book a flight to Bali and I'll see from there. But they require you to show some form of proof that you're actually leaving the country to book my next flight. So I already know where I'm going next, which is Chiang Mai, Thailand, as I was talking about. I didn't expect to already know where my next uh, trip was gonna go, but I guess I do now. Almost 12,000 kilometers. That's like crazy, crazy amount. Uh, did not catch any sleep last night. Uh, I'm terrible at sleeping at moving, moving trains. He's sleeping though. My sister even gave me crazy sleeping pill. She said it knocked her out for 12 hours. It didn't do anything to me. It just made me a little drowsy. But uh, yeah, so I gotta catch a sky train and uh, get on my next flight to Bali. You might notice that my energy is like a lot different because yesterday I was traveling so much and I was really, 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 really tired. So after after I just arrived here, I just basically crashed. I just stayed at the hostel, just chilling. Uh, I did do some drone shots, which I'll show you right here. And so yeah, I just stayed at the hostel basically because uh, they serve food and drinks and everything I needed. And play yesterday when I arrived, also this guy arrived right here. This is Reese. Uh, we've been chatting yesterday. He's uh, a writer, documentary filmmaker. He does all sorts of crazy shit. Uh, he's American. Uh, yeah, we did a we did a little, little walk around the, around the neighborhood yesterday. It was uh, it was nice. And today we're actually going to hit the gym uh, to get some workout in. Get get pumping. Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, let's see where we go. Oh, and by the way, the way to get around here is called Gojek. You can like, uh, it's like Uber, but in Bali, you can get scooters like that, or you can like get a car actually. So it's actually a really nice way to get around, and it's super like cost effective because sometimes you pay like fifty cents to get to get like a ten minute ride somewhere. You know, fifty cents. That's like. It's insane. 
I, expect, I especially didn't think the moisture in the air like would be so killing because you know I'm from the Netherlands it's pretty uh, pretty moist over there too but there was no AC here and it was like it was heavy it was heavy right Reese? <laughs> <laughs> so I think next time we're definitely gonna hit up one with an air conditioning and yeah, with an AC yeah. yeah it's worth it because this was like 30,000 Indonesian rupiah it's, it's like two euros like, not even no not, not like, even just like 30 cent probably it's very cheap it's, it's really Maybe cheap. Maybe a dollar. But, yeah. yeah, something like a dollar. So, uh, but yeah, you got what you pay for, basically. I'm, I'm so, I'm so like, <laughs> I really, I desperately need show up. There was no swimming pool in there. I can, I can promise you that. So uh, yeah, definitely hitting up a shower after this. And uh, I don't know what's up next, but uh, yeah, this is, this was my first uh, first fitness experience at least. All right, so back at the villa. Ready to have a shower. So, this is the shower. Alright, hey guys, so I took a shower just a few minutes ago and took a coffee at the uh, hostel. And right now I met Wesley, he's a Dutch guy as well. And we are just going to uh, the beach, exploring the beach a little, uh, explore what's ever down there. I uh, haven't been there yet, so. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, air conditioned car, woo! <laughs> so this man is taking us to the beach. What's your name, man? Hey, my name is Spamban. Spamban, <laughs> woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so obviously from Bali, he knows the route yeah, and he's yeah. gonna take us to the beach and the boulevard, I guess. If that's there, I don't know, maybe. Bye. All right, so we have arrived. I, they're like crazy, you probably can see it because it's like pretty small. But the taxi driver explained basically that uh, the Gojek, which is like the Uber here, they are, they are like in a fight with the local taxi companies. So if, if we want to order a Gojek back, we just have to get off the main road and go into an alleyway to order it or else, you know, they, they might be ending up with like uh, jealousy and stuff like that. He was, he was explaining. So I think that's, that's pretty funny, but I get it like, it's like New York, right? Where Uber is also like competing with the taxi companies basically. So I, I kind of get it, but uh, yeah, this area looks really nice because I was walking with Reese yesterday just uh, outside the hostel and there were like no sidewalks here, but yeah, there are sidewalks here and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, time to check out that beach. All right, I got myself some slippers. <laughs> I paid uh, 90,000 for it, which is like a bit less than seven euros. Probably still overpaid it, but you know, I know, the guy was cool. And uh, yeah, I didn't feel like uh, hustling even more because it's really warm. I'm sweaty, as you can see, just by just walking around. Uh, yeah, we decided to just uh, take a stroll to like the boulevard and stuff and uh, check out a few of the places here. Yeah, it looks really cool. Like, it's actually really nice to have a sidewalk where you can walk around on. I guess that's not the, not the case uh, at our hostel. So yeah, check out these cool shots of the sidewalks.
So people do want to like get you to buy something basically. Yeah, we were just walking uh, walking down the boulevard and we came across this little uh, bizarre thing. It, it looks really cool. Like it's all wood and stuff, plants inside. I, mean, I think everyone has like his, his or her little shop here and they all just you know, crowd it together. It's pretty cool. Wesley is, actually, Wesley is actually looking to get a tattoo. So uh, just checking out a few stores and see uh, what they can do. So we're half asleep. Yeah, we're talking half asleep. See ya, bye. See ya. <laughs> for uh, two, two idea he has and it's it's like 350 euros for like a half sleeve so basically like the the arm side of the arm basically so that's a that's a really good price and uh, so Wesley's got to check out their website and see uh, for all the Instagram look at what they've done in the past basically uh, see if the quality is good and uh, if that's good he's probably gonna get it I guess so yeah that's how you do man Bali tattooing Woo! all right uh, we're probably just gonna chill somewhere at like one of the uh, beach clubs, uh, grab a beer maybe, just chill out in the sun and uh, yeah, enjoy life for a bit. So these are basically the prices and if you want to get like the euro price, you divide it by 16. So this is less than a euro, this is like 65 cents, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, coffee as well, it's like crazy cheap, crazy cheap here. For some reason the, the beers are a bit more expensive though, like they're like two euros. Like in the Netherlands, like everything is like... The beer is the same as the Fanta basically, but not here. Like the alcohol is a bit, bit more expensive, but you know, depends on what you want, right? Chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice. And for me, a small bintang as well. And uh, gado gado. I have no idea what that is actually, <laughs> but it's like an Indonesian something, uh, something local. So I guess I, I'm just gonna try it. I guess. How's yours? Good? Really good, yeah. This is actually really good. It's a, it's a bit spicy, but you know, I'm down for some spice. It's a... Uh, wow. I haven't ever had this before and it's, it's really good. I, I don't know what this is. It's like... Some sort chicken of vegetable, I think. Oh, no. No. For chicken. Oh, this is tofu. This is tofu. Big tofu. It's really good. So we just had a good meal there. Had some nice drinks, two bin tanks, each of us. And uh, yeah, we had some good conversations about, you know, business, about life, where we're going and stuff. Right now, we're just gonna walk around the rest of uh, Changu area for a bit. And yeah, enjoy, uh, enjoy the uh, shops and uh, the stuff right around there. So, got some money left? It's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. All this money's gone on that bintang. But it was good bintang. And I'm in my shirt again and I'm soaked wet again. Like, fuck, this humidity is like crazy. It's crazy, dude. So, not prepared for this. Oh, and also, I'm kind of sunburned. Like we were sitting at the beach and uh, the sun was like just grazing. There were clouds in front of it, so I didn't feel like uh, you know needing to sit in the shadow or anything. So, but yeah, it's pretty strong. The sun is pretty strong, and uh, my body is so like my skin is not used to the sun as well. So definitely, definitely need to get some sunscreen going tomorrow at least. I don't know what we're doing now. Maybe just uh, walking around a bit, and after that, just uh, heading back to the hostel, I guess. But yeah, the sun is strong out here, dude. Fix some sunscreen. Oh wow. So it's 
actually happy hour, so we are at Old Bands right now. It's just a pretty popular bar at Bali, at the Chengdu Beach, and uh, apparently it's happy hour, so we're gonna have to fucking kill those beers. <laughs> wow. Alright guys, so I am ending the vlog right here. Uh, me and Wesley were just chilling, we were talking, good conversations again. Uh, yeah, so like the Bali sunsets are amazing, like they're so good. Like I, I've watched that time lapse that I just done, it wasn't really showing, but man, the sunsets, they're so good. And uh, yeah, that was the first vlog ever. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like and leave me a comment, like what did you enjoy? What should I do more? What should I do less? I'm really curious and uh, let me know and subscribe, alright? Okay, see you guys later. Bye!